Hello everyone, uh, Mr. O here. I'm going to show you, uh, give you some tips and tricks on these challenge slides from our last activity we did. So we're trying, we're doing a marble slide with exponentials and we're trying to hit all of these stars with our marbles. So I just want to um, spend a few minutes and show you, give you some tips on how to do these slides. Let's begin with uh, challenge slide number four. Challenge slide number four. So this one's a little tricky. We have stars. We got to hit these stars now. Again, this there's more than one way to do this. So if you find a better way than I got, then so be it. Uh, I'm starting off with this equation, y equals 0 0.5 to the x, because I know if I have a number that's less than one here, then I can um, it the it will it will decay. It's decay. It's decreasing. So choosing a number that's less than one here brings the graph down in this direction. So I'm going to try to come down like this. Maybe send another graph back like this, and maybe a third like this. We'll see how it works. Um, I've seen a couple of different options. Let's see if this works. Well, who knows? So uh, I'm going to um, add an equation. First of all, this first one, I'm going to copy this because I know that it's going to come back again. So if I move this first one up, and I can do that by doing a some kind of constant on the end. I can move it up to say this is at zero. I can go up to eight. Okay. I want to be able to hit this one. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens if I do plus eight. So it moves it up to here, and that's good. That'll get that first one, and you can even launch them as you go. So that'll get that one. Now, if I cut this off and bring another one back like so. Then I can get these two, and then the third one, I can just move this up a little bit. So this this next one here, I can move it up to, this is at zero, I can move it up to two. So plus two. And now I know I'm going to hit this last one. So now I just need another equation to come through here. Uh, we end this one. Probably end it, let's end it at 16. So x is less than 16. And then if we have another equation come back through here and it ended right around here, and then they'll hit come down in this way. So um, I'm going to try one. How about 1.2 to the x power? By the way, I should state this: some of you were not using exponential functions, and when you do that, you, this is exponential. Uh, you have to use exponential functions in order to get um, all the stars. Linear is not uh, appropriate for this activity. Although you got the stars, you still need to have it work for this activity. So we just need to stretch this, move it around, stretch it a little bit. So if I move this, let's move this to the right. How about we move it to the right, maybe 16, and just see what happens. So how do I move it to the right? I get up here in the exponent spot, make sure you put in parentheses, do minus 16. And in the in the same so look at see the slope of it it's coming down pretty good this blue line so if I move it up four let's see what happens or maybe let's do plus four ooh it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good I don't know if it's gonna catch this star so you might want to go down just a little bit and you can make this line flatter if you want to make a flat line you just get this number closer to one. Instead of 1.2, you make it 1.15, maybe. See how much flatter it becomes? So I'm not going to finish this. You need to finish this and make it work. If you want to use my same equations, that's fine. Uh, let's go on to number five. Number five were, was giving people some trouble as well. So uh, you can do something similar. You can have it come down. Let's see if that'll work. Um, I, saw, I saw some pretty creative ones. People, people took and they came up with an exponential this way, and they did another one this way. And so when this dropped right on the peak, it, the marbles went both ways and they got them all. So I think that that would be something to uh, experiment with and see if that works. And uh, But really, any exponential will get this thing rolling. Get it going. You can come back this way. This is exactly flat. So really, any exponential that flattens out very quickly can go here. And then you can drop and you can have another one flatten out, go this way. So I'm picturing very similar to our last one, some kind of exponential, get it rolling. Another one that flattens out really flat here. And then another one that flattens out 
who we play on the bottom. So um, let's see here. Uh, let's get this thing going. So if I make this very very steep, even a two, we want a decay here. So I'm going to make it one half. So 0.5 to the power of x. And I'm going to, I want to move it a little bit to the right and up. We're going to move this instead of being at 1, I want this to hit right at, let's hit it right at 12. So we'll do plus 12. Well, that would get it going plus 12. We only want to go plus 11. Um, yeah, let's do plus 11 and see. And you just kind of mess around with this. I don't know if these marbles will actually move. Launch. No, they miss. <laughs> only a couple marbles go that way. So let's go down a little bit lower, and I'm going to make it a little more steep. All right, so let's go down to, uh, let's make it 10.5. Cool. All right, 10.5, we'll get it going. And to make this steeper, we want it to decay quicker. So we'll go 0.4, we'll make it steeper. Even, even go down a little bit lower. Let's go down to 9.5. So really, you're just messing with these, that's 8.5. Let's go 10. All right. And then this ball is going to get rolling. And then we take another one, come back this way. And if, again, if it's very straight, like this is a very flat line. So we get an equation that is very flat. And I'll start you off. How about, uh, how about 5 to the x? Look how flat that is. Basically a flat line there. So if I move this up and right, I'm going to cut this one off. I'm going to move the second one. I'm going to move it up and right, and it's going to be a flat line right through that. And then the third one come down here and be flat right through this. So another line you can use for decay that's very flat. How about one tenth? 0.1 to the uh, to the power of x. Look how flat that is. And now if I move it left and up, it can hit both of these both of these stars. All right. So moving, I'm going to. I'll leave this one off for a second. I'll let you guys work on that in your own. But this last one, I'm going to move it left and up. So I'm going to go left. This this point is 0, 1. Um, let's move it left 16 and up 2. Let's see what happens. So we put parentheses x plus 16, because I want to go left. And then up 2 is plus 2. And it's going to probably hit both of those. And two, maybe if two is a little high, put a 1.9. If you want to be more, uh, yeah, it looks about the same. All right, so there's a couple of uh, challenge, challenge four, challenge five. This one's a flat line, so I, rec I recommend you use something that's very close to one. One point, how about 1.1 to the x power? Okay, see how flat that is? And so you can just you can just tweak it. You can make it go. And if you need to use more than one, you can swing back and forth. You can get them off. But um, but if I move this to the left, x. Um, let's do plus sixteen again. I did equals. See how you can mess with this line and get it. And you can get if you need the more steeper part, you go further. Let's go twenty five. See how it's starting to fit. Now it looks like this one's missing, but again, you could chop it off, have another one come back. Uh, you could do this, ladies and gentlemen. But remember, you have to use exponentials. And I can picture this thing coming down, stop, and then coming back. If you need it more flat or less flat, uh, you can you can make this just exactly what you need it. Let's see if we let's see if we can get one. This 1.1 is fine, but I'm, I want to take this line up here more. Because if you look at the graph, this line is steep enough. All right, so let's move it up a little bit. Let's move it up. Well, if we move it up too much, let's get a, let's get, let's see. Let's get a flatter line and see if we can do this. 1.01. That's almost flat. You see that? Um, oh, we're going to move this up. Maybe we went too far left. Let's go up three. So we get this first one launched. 
Now, can't you picture some kind of chop off at negative 8? Let's see. We end it. X has to be greater than negative 8. And then we can have another equ equation come back this way. And another one come this way. And another one come this way. And so on. You can do that. If you don't think you get them all in one, or you just have another one go the same way, you might be able to get it ramped up. Let's try one more time. 1.07, because I like the number 7, to the x. Very flat. I'm going to move it to the left by doing plus, let's see, plus 20. Oops. Plus 20. And then I still don't have the very, that very flat part. I want it to be a little steeper. So let's go 1.08. We'll keep moving left. Let's move it plus 40. Oh man, it's gonna be perfect. Let's drop it down. Get the four there. Let's try to down, drop it down four. Minus four. Woo wee. Let's go a little bit further. Minus 4.5. Let's get to work. Now we're gonna say this is when x is less than. So we use that, uh, bra that brace key, x is less than negative 8. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to jump a little bit, got the load, and boom, boom. Boom. Hey, that's good news, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't mean to give you the whole answer. I thought maybe this one wouldn't work. But you got it. So you got an answer you can use for that one. That's challenge slide 6. Um, seven, you got a couple here, a couple here, and then you're going to drop here. I would recommend flat. See if you can make them. See if you can do that. I would like you to challenge yourself to try to get all these. Drops down, flattens out. Whoops, I missed it. Let's try again. Drops down, flattens out, and then maybe another one comes down like this and flattens out. Those aren't, those aren't too bad. Um, next one. Again, you can make these pretty darn flat by making the base number smaller. All right, I did want to show you a couple of, I made the names anonymous. Um, this was a pretty creative one for slide eight. Just two equations. Okay. And then the other one I'll show you is a couple of the pictures in the end. Spend some time doing some pictures. This person did like a little slanty smiley face. And then this person drew a, a fish. So uh, excellent work on these. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with on your, on your uh, free play slides. I really like this one. This is pretty cool. Not exactly exponential, but it's a pretty cool graph. So... Um, I like to look at these, and uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. You will, uh, you know, resubmit. If, if I wrote you a note that said resubmit, resubmit that you're finished. I'll go back and check them, give you your credit.